Understanding Aches and Pains, a guide to common English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a very common phrase that you might have heard or will definitely come across in everyday conversations, aches and pains. It's a simple phrase, but it packs a lot of meaning, especially when talking about health and well-being. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery behind this phrase. Aches and pains refer to minor but persistent feelings of discomfort or pain in various parts of the body. The key here is that these are not usually associated with a serious illness. Instead, they might be the result of everyday activities, minor injuries, or simply aging. When someone mentions they're experiencing aches and pains, they're generally talking about a range of uncomfortable sensations that are bothersome but not debilitating. This phrase is incredibly versatile and can be used in several contexts. Let's look at some examples to see how it fits into everyday conversation. Describing general discomfort. After helping my friend move into her new apartment, I've got all sorts of aches and pains. Talking about illness recovery. I'm finally getting over the flu, but I still have some aches and pains. Aging gracefully. As I get older, I notice more aches and pains, but it's just part of life. It's a gentle way to express that you're not feeling 100% without alarming the listener or diving into specific medical details. Understanding phrases like aches and pains is crucial for language learners because it offers insight into how English speakers commonly discuss health and well-being. It showcases the language's tendency to use plural forms to describe general states of being, emphasizing the nonspecific nature of the discomfort. Recognizing and using such phrases can significantly enhance your conversational fluency and help you connect more deeply with native speakers by sharing common human experiences in a nuanced way. We hope this exploration of the phrase, aches and pains, has been enlightening and will help you feel more confident in using it in your own conversations. Remember, learning a language is not just about grammar and vocabulary but also about understanding the culture and the everyday expressions that bring us closer to the native speaker's experiences. So, keep listening, keep practicing, and don't be afraid to express your own aches and pains as you journey through the world of English. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in our next video.